Welcome back, everyone, to the hug box that is Garudia campaign with me, Dorpy. We're currently we're sandwiched in between Gwed, Bjarnrik, and Frozema. But as I say that, Gwed's looking mighty pick offable, huh? Interesting. We might have to capitalize on that. Uh, never mind. Nope, that ain't happening. Six allies, no can do. <laughs> Uh, perhaps when we finish Olive Quality. Uh, so when we had last left off, we had just gotten out of a war with uh, Chelmador. And so right now, we've got a little less than a year until we can go in against a war on Bjarnrik again. And I either want to fight Goed today, or I want to fight Frozen Maw. Probably going to be Goed, because he looks like he's behind in tech, almost. Okay, and interesting, Frozen Ma went for exploration. Or perhaps I should kill Frozen Ma to get him out of the way earlier. I'm in a, two minds about this one. Not entirely sure. But I do know that if we haven't been attacked by Frozen Ma, we probably aren't going to just yet. <laughs> so we can relax a little bit on that uh, front. And uh, I already checked, and we're going to be able to call in... Nimscott and Cold Market giving us a huge navy. So hopefully we should be able to do just fine, and funnily enough, we're finally allowed to be at a good force limit, even if uh, everything else is kind of crummy. He, uh, props though. Oh, we got the Fordson. Please, please. I got rid of the Evan Frost for you. Be like a four-four-four would be cool. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not bad stats. Oh, yeah. Okay. Eh, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make me excited. Just is kind of like, meh. Pretty meh. Okay, but uh, I have... Oh, maybe I shouldn't have been improving with Gwed. Well, you do hate... You do hate Frozen Ma. Maybe, maybe that'll come in. That, uh, that could be useful. Why wouldn't you... You have too many diplomatic relations and you're not friendly towards me. Okay, that's maybe something I can fix. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the next dip tech and not the next admin tech. Okay. And we... Yeah, I don't think it's going to be too big of a, a struggle. We're going to go with the reconquest. No, go with the conquest because it takes. Uh, you have to pay. Right, do I have any claims? I do have a claim, so I can get Ogatir. And chances are. Okay, so I will declare for. Kuner Cave, his capital. Uh, the reason I'm declaring for his. A conquest and not a, uh, a a different type of CB is because words Pete words <laughs> uh, is because if you declare a reconquest you will have to pay diplomatic points for all of your conquest uh, all of your claims and vice versa however if you have claims on provinces that your ally is trying to get well, guess I'm just full of crap. <laughs> I vaguely remember there being a difference. Nope, nope, I'm just full of crap. <laughs> Unless Chilmador... Nope, just full of crap. <laughs> okay, so he sent his army down there, the absolute fool. He doesn't realize how dumb of a move that is, because that allows me to move in here, and now he's stuck south of the border. And he can't get his troops back. Big dummy. Okay, and now... Uh, how? I have it blockaded. Oh, do I not have it? No. Nobody knows, man. Some things happen and we don't question them. Okay, so I'll just take out his cavalry, and then I'll run back. 
Maybe he pulled some shenanigans with a port? Not. Not 100% sure, and I don't want to know. Uh, I do know we are going to lose... Oh, never mind. I had assumed he brought in a heavy. Okay, so there's his heavy. Gotcha. Okay, we got him on the run. We can go ahead and pick up the next... Miltech, which is good. Uh, we want to pick up as many of those before we're ready to take the next Miltech, which I don't think I'm going to take for a while. Ah, uh, since I'm not... Uh, I need to check, actually, how bad is it? Uh, uprising. Yeah, I'd rather not station troops, so we'll go with that. Okay, but this war is up to a great start so far. Curiosity, what will all of this get me? Please don't bring in Gwed? It doesn't. Excellent. So we can probably just get out with a full 100%. Don't need to worry about humiliation, because he'll already be humiliated by this loss. And yeah, we should be good from there. And we got an extra merchant somehow. Uh, probably because we can see. Oh, I guess he some guy got pushed off of that. Uh, actually, no, I got a better idea. Let's uh, pull him from here and just start collecting in here so we can further profiteer off of this war. Please don't stack with me. Aha! Eat crap. <laughs> I take too much pleasure in beating up the, the Bjarnrikians. Whatever they're called. And due to that trade, yeah, we're basically stealing a ducat out of the... Serpent's Head node, and it's only going to get worse. But also, he is starting to gain back. Okay. So that looks like a good fight. Uh, shift Consolidate, always. Just helpful. And excellent. Managed to kill him dead. And let's see if we can't break up. Oops. That might be a problem. Yeah, that's a problem. Okay, uh, we'll tr retreat behind our fort. He's not going to siege anything in time, and I'd like to get these all sieged down. Nice. Nimscott is coming up from underneath, and I think those boys are going to eventually help. Yeah, there they are. Excellent. So now I can just probably hide my troops while my ally does the rest of the fighting. And I wouldn't mind attempting to destroy more of his boats, so we'll land our mercenaries on that island. And I was just waiting until these got repaired to the fullest. Wonderful. I'll uh, we'll take the extra mill points. That's very useful. Though... Can't really use it right now. There's his navy pretty much screwed over. Where did they run to now? Somewhere. <laughs> okay. And who are you being attacked? You're being attacked by Laurent. Ooh, that poses the opportunity. You might... Dang, I wish I had taken a province over here now. <laughs> Any chance I can fight one of you guys somehow, some way? Yeah, and he doesn't have a lot of allies. Ooh. Tempting, tempting. Okay, let's, uh, let's finish up this war, and maybe we can get him with, like, a, a humiliate rival or something. Uh, I'm going to pick up a land force limit modifier. <laughs> funny game, funny game. Any chance he just wants out now? No. Uh, 
Uh, nope, that goes to me. Okay, I'm gonna put my troops on there so I can give them the plus one. Urbixton, or uh, no. Urbixton, or I should say Frozen Maw, announced me as their rival. That uh, gives me some anxiety. Small amount of heart palpitations from that. Thankfully, though, I think we're, we're past the stage where the AI could just wipe us if they wanted. Speaking of which, I think we'll do the same with Bjarnrik right now. That 500 ducats, that's probably going to clear up every single uh, debt I owe. And what is this? Overextension is too high. That's a simple fix. Okay. Uh, debts. Pay them back. Starting with the 4 percenters. Maybe I should have started with the 1%. Nice, and we're finally debt-free. You love to see it. Okay, how can I take advantage of this Goed situation? He doesn't have allies. No, I can't make him my rival. Dang it. And, uh, ooh, Frozen Ma's not that strong. I, eh, none of my allies would come in. Really, you have too many diplomatic relations, even though every single person... Oh, because of royal marriages. I see. Oh, what we can do, though, is this. We can raid his coasts. Or a little bit of ducketage. Yeah. <laughs> um, one other thing we're going to do is... And this is purely for gameplay, because some of these lands have been taking forever to get their monthly autonomy down. Is so we're going to unite the Olavish people. And we have united the lands of Olavland. By sword and by word, we are in a position to form a kingdom on par with that of Bjarnrik to our west, and the weaklings to our south. Only with unity can we prosper in these changing times. And so the main reason I'm doing this is to get the increased centralization which is going to help with uh, autonomy. Um, and then I also want to get... Uh, I suppose the prestige wouldn't hurt. But mainly the reason I'm doing it is because although this black dragon is an awesome color, this kraken is cooler. Plus, you don't get to see maroon very often in the game. And uh, their ideas suck. I won't even give them credence by mentioning them. <laughs> I believe it's like Marine Force Limit, uh, Monthly War Exhaustion, and some other garbage. Some hot trash. But one thing we can do, ooh, 83 ducats, hello, is fuel our economy with the spoils of others. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pick up a Force Limit Guide. That'll help against our war with... Frozen Moss, should it ever happen. Speaking of which, I think it would be prudent to get some spy network on them. Next, we're gonna keep uh, claiming along the coast here. Or as much as I can, really. Okay, we'll come back from that. Next up. Uh, no, I don't think there's a way I can chain into you, unfortunately. Not unless I wanted to break my alliance with Nimscod, but I'm not ready to do that just yet. So instead we'll send the guy to improve with Chalmador. And this. Okay. Moving on. Is there anywhere I can get the institution dev for cheap? Or is it all already? Yes, it is. Looks like it's already partially developed in a couple places. So I could develop it there, which wouldn't actually be a terrible idea. Could develop it there. Mainly what I'm looking for right now is trade goods. Seeing if there's anything particularly tempting. No. 
it all sucks. <laughs> uh, so I think we'll just uh, develop up uh, Red Garhaven for the time being. Thirty-eight versus yeah, it doesn't matter at this point. Okay, uh, so we'll go with a little bit of admin, and if you really wanted to do this, uh, extra quick, you could have just used the single points. Uh, I'll go ahead and embrace it early, and good. I think that'll put us at a significant advantage over. Nope, never mind. <laughs> He's gonna get it. <laughs> you suck. But at the very least, we're going to be able to get some military ideas. And what would probably be good is if we put a temple there. Be a whole point three extra ducats. And what are we getting? The army is expensive. The forts are expensive. I can probably get rid of that grasslands fort for right now. I don't think I have to. Per se. But yeah, we're doing just fine. Okay, which leads on to the next order of business. Do I push for the 5% discipline, which would also I technically be 10% discipline with this Legacy of Cast and Ever Frost, or do I go for, say, Miltech 8? Is Miltech 8 one with morale? No. Oh, it is regimental camps, though. No, I think it's better to push for ideas at this point. Especially since we're so far behind. <laughs> okay, and I am wondering at what point I can annex you. 82. So I can start annexing you soon. Main reason I got him was just so I could lessen the impact of aggressive expansion in the area, and because he had some claims. And given that Goed's pretty weak right now, I think it would probably be helpful to expand that way. Okay, that's promising. Would Cold Market, Everwarf, Everwarf might, Frostmall might, maybe because I'm bigger right now, somebody will want to ally me. Nope. <laughs> Reveria is getting close, at least. Oh, well, Reveria is... Reveria is almost dead. That's uh, always helpful. But... Yeah. Great. <laughs> Maybe we could somehow swing a... Who's he allied to? I could probably keep the game going while I do this. Your allied to beep? Nope, not happening. I was going to say we could maybe swing a, like... Co-belligerate and vassalize him in order to pull that off. Uh, that's not gonna happen. Okay. Uh, instead, what I think I'll do is just trade some money with uh, the gnomes, and we'll go from there. Okay. But since we're not going to be able to finish, what's his face? Oh, uh, that would be good. That we can very easily get in a little bit, and the others will come in time. And I don't really see a need to go for massive mercantilism energy this game. <laughs> it's, it's terrible. Um, and that's mostly because I foresee us eventually moving into the Dragon Coast, and that's going to keep all of the Serpent's Head income uh, fixed in one spot. So we should be good there. 
Okay, but uh, what we're gonna get to now is upgrading the army a little bit. Maybe, just maybe we can get... Yeah, we can get up to 20 old troops now. And I think another loan would be appropriate. Okay, uh, we'll take two instead and repay these five. Ultimately, the inflation's not a big problem. So all I'm trying to do is reshuffle all this. Could start colonizing, yes. But recolonization I don't think would be helpful as of right now. Okay, get you up to that. Still check, yep. Don't worry about it. And we should be good to go. <laughs> Ooh, that is the, uh... Ugh, ugh. That is the Garudia experience right there. 0 0.02 from production. <laughs> okay, so we got... Maybe a full stack? No, we, we don't even have a full stack yet. <laughs> um, okay. Do we have... Nope. Alright. Tell you what, let's wait for our ruler to get their next personality trade. Probably not going to be a military one. Um, if you're curious... Everworth would come in. Okay, good. Uh, these personality traits, they can be influenced. Ooh, Lawgiver. That's actually exceptionally good. That's exactly what we need right now to help buy down this autonomy. Yeah, look at it. It's going down by 0.225 each month. That's that's like 125% better than what it usually is. Um, These stats, these traits, are typically governed by... Uh, the ability scores. So, to give you an example, uh, the cowardly one, that gets an increased chance of happening if you have less than three military school. I'm guessing Lawgiver has an increased chance of happening if you have more than three admin skill. But, suffice it to say. Okay. Now I need to debate to myself whether it's worth it to attack Frozen Maw right now. You'd call in Everworth, break the army. He has a whole 3k troops. The main thing I'm scared about with this is all the little derps that would come in. Essentially, I'd have to drain them of manpower and then start pushing. Which is a bit, uh... It's not a great strategy. You're getting attacked by Greenscale. Wait, what? What? The Bjarnriki Conquest of... Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, we'll go ahead and get that. Is actually useful because... We can do as much. We can start spying people. Wicked smart people. <laughs> and uh, tell you what, let's get the integration of Chelmador started this episode. Oh, and he's got the mythical no religion. <laughs> nice. Love it when they does that. Okay, go ahead and start integrating him. No, wait, I'm... Dang it, I'm at war with the stinking... Green scales. Yeah, whatever. Let's uh, spy on Wix. And... Uh, yeah, that's better. Okay. Uh, you know what we don't actually need to do? We don't need to keep the military up this high. Don't know why I've been thinking this and... Maybe I did that because I was a bit uh, still afraid. Oh yeah, we can get Redgar Haven permanent. Thing. Uh, maybe I was still afraid of Frozen Ma declaring war on us. But since we have equal force limits, I don't think the AI would be that crazy. Yet. <laughs> okay. 
And now we just have to wait for Nimscott to get out with the Scaly Boys. Fun fact, we almost ran a... No, it wasn't a green scale campaign. It would have been a dark scale campaign. Like That was the other option for uh, the Balrigan campaign. It's going to start out as a dark scale campaign and we'd migrate back to Nimscott. But uh, I decided against that because Balrigan was actually kind of fun. Okay, get out with your war. Yes, thank you. And you hate me, again. Uh, you know what I can do to improve his relations? I can divert his trade. That's one little trick you can always do. Uh, there's various actions that give plus or minus 10. And the two I will always go for, or at least I remember the most often, is A, offer military access, gives you plus 10, um, and then, and then right again to 89. Dang, that would have given me a good war chest. The other one is uh, diverting trade, which gives you plus an amount. Okay, get the next mor Navy morale. Okay, explain to me why people wouldn't join. Cold market's a, a smelly guy. He's a republic, isn't he? They get elected in 89, okay. So we can count on Cold Market to join in. Everwarf will join in. Frostwall might. He has a war wizard. Okay, that's worth keeping in mind. And he's a young war wizard, so he's probably going to be kept. Okay. Tell me somebody else wants to ally. How about independence? Yes, Sedvik. Okay, so Sedvik. What, uh, tell you what, what does this look like? Sedvik is disloyal. Ribsby and Eskerberg are, di are loyal, so that means instead. Maybe I can get away with fighting Assault. No. I'd only have to fight Korntar, Assault, and his two little vassals. Because if a vassal is disloyal, then they, no matter what, will not help their leech. <laughs> Ask me how I know. <laughs> when will this be finished? This will be finished in 1502. Okay, we could put in a Diplo guy. Probably we can afford him if we wanted to do so. Alright. Yeah, I guess the main reason I'm holding off on the war with uh, Frozen Maw is because I know that army is extremely strong. Plus, I know we're going to have to grind through so many troops in order to get it done. Uh, for the next ideas, I think. Uh, trade. Yeah. Trade quality is an excellent one. Influence. I don't think we're going to be taking very many more vassals. Economic quality is particularly useful. Right now we have 120% discipline in infantry only armies have 130% with this, so that would boost us up to 135%. I think the trade would honestly be better. Because you gotta figure, this is an extremely strong trade node, which we should probably move into eventually. By the way, there's the discipline. Nice. Pick up a morale guy if we want. And nice, we're actually making money. Uh, we could make even more money if I did this. But what I think I'm going to do is revoke one more time. Fight off the guys. Go from there. Hey, 
And as annoying as this can be, it's much better to have... My philosophy is that it is better to do one war you know you can win than have to deal with multiple that you might not win. Wait until the conditions are favorable. He says, as he may or may not realistically lose the war next episode. <laughs> Hypocrite. Yes, I know. Frostwall wants me to help against Reach Spear. Yeah, sure, that's fine. No way. He doesn't. Tell you what, I'll help him out with my uh, mercenaries. Oh, unless he just wants to do it himself. Piss off, uh, Frozen Maw. And maybe this will give us enough sway with Frostwall to call him in. A powerful mage would pretty much change... Who are you at war with? Venom Tooth. Nobody too scary. Okay, there's Reach Spear. Frostwall just killed him. Excellent. Okay, how does that change the situation? Frostwall would join us. Okay, so we could get it relatively uh relatively yeah and the only other person i could ever call in is gwed gwed still won't ally me though and he's still rather weak go with uh, that one for right now. That's more useful. That puts us at 0.275, I think. An absurd amount for this early in the game. And okay. Yep, we will put in the Diplo Rep guy, just to speed up this uh, annexation. That puts us at 98. It's so basically finished by next episode. And I think I'm going to put a stop right here, because uh, I want to dedicate all of next episode to absolutely crushing the crap out of Frozen Maw. <laughs> so with that, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more.